Hi everyone, my name is Odaina Eid and I would like to discuss with you a topic today that is unfortunately very prevalent in our society, depression. Uh, depression is a real and serious mental health condition that can affect anyone, including Christians. As Christians, we are called to pursue Christ in all areas of our lives, including our mental health. In today's video, I will discuss how we can find hope and healing during depression by pursuing Christ in our lives and seeking help so we can overcome depression. Depression is a severe mental health condition that can negatively impact an individual's thoughts, feelings, behavior, leading to a variety of challenges in their personal and professional lives. As Christians, we must remember that our hope and joy come from Christ, not from our circumstances. In Psalm 34, 18, we read that, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This speaks to us and reminds us that we must always trust in God's promises and presence, even when we are struggling with depression. So here are some practical steps you can take if you or someone you know is struggling with depression. One, finding support in your faith community is crucial for managing depression. In Galatians 6.2, we are called to carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. By surrounding ourselves with people who will encourage us in our faith journey and provide us with practical help and support during our struggles, we can find hope and healing. Speak to your church pastor or elder. Sometimes they may have an insight into a situation that you're in that you may not have considered. Two, reading the word of God. In James 5, 13 to 16, we read, Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. The Bible is a wonderful book with a lot of messages that will encourage you and fill your heart. Many times I have read a scripture that spoke to my innermost being and it encouraged me. It took away the pain, sorrow, anger, envy, and a whole range of emotions that I had. The Bible is God's word and he uses it to change our hearts and later transform us. Three, prayer. Prayer is a powerful tool that God has provided us to speak with him. Praying, knowing that you have a loving God listening to you gives you peace. And four, seek professional help. While prayer and faith are essential, we must also seek professional help, whether through therapy, medication, or other forms of treatment. Remember that seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a step towards healing. Depression is a severe mental health condition that affects many people, including Christians. However, by pursuing Christ in a culture of compromise, we can find hope and joy during our struggles. We must remember to seek support from our faith community, professional help, but most importantly, trust in Christ's promise to be with us always. As we continue our journey of faith, let us remember to carry each other's burdens and support one another in times of need. If you're interested in more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you next time.